Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the Lead Time. In today's video, I want to show you how to make a, a fruit brandy from a bottle of wine. So to make a, a brandy, you need a, a bottle of wine. I use a 1.5 liter, uh, the wine, the red wine. And uh, it can fit with the KD5 distillery because this is a two liter pot. So you can easily fit a 1.5 liter of the wine. And uh, we expect to make a 500 milliliter. That's uh, uh, about two cup of uh, the hot liquor, the brandy. And then I use, today I use a blueberry uh, sweet. And to balance the taste, I add a pineapple uh, besides it's a special aroma, it also brings a little bit of sour and then just need a mason jar. This is a one pint. It's around a liter size. So it can have a 500 milliliter, the brandy and uh, add a two cup, like another 500 milliliter of the fruit. First step, open the wine. So today I'm using a mixture of uh, Cabernet Merlot, the two different kind of uh, the grape uh, make the wine. You know the wine is made just from a fermented grape uh, because it has a sugar, so it changes into alcohol during the fermentation. But uh, you also keep the flavonoid and the non-flavonoid into the wine because it didn't do the distillation. When you do the distillation, make a brandy. So the, the flavonoids, those are the large molecules. These will keep inside the water phase. They will not evaporize into the brandy. But those uh, non-flavonoids, small molecule, you know, the smell, those uh, odor, they are the volatile compounds. Those will be vaporized into brandy. Today I'm using the KD5 distiller. It has a pot. This is a two liter size and it has a steamer. Steamer is a 500 milliliter. When we distill the wine or liquor, so we don't need to fill stuff into the cup. This is especially for making essential oil or hydrosol. But actually I have an idea like add some fruit here when we distill the wine, so it will carry aroma from the fruit and into the brandy. Uh, but today I just add a wine into the pot and uh, I have a 1.5 liter wine, so it can just easily pour it in. So I gotta pour all of them into the pot. So after the 1.5 liter into the pot, there is still like a one inch gap uh, to the maximum level. This is a good. When you are uh, cooking the wine, you want to have a space on top to keep it, the liquid will not spill out. Setup is pretty easy. Just put the uh, cover on the lid. And then this is a condenser, so when the alcohol and us carry other the volatile compounds, they leave, and then you use a condenser to condense back into the liquid. That would be your brandy. So now just turn on the hot plate. So after the first drop of acetone coming out, then we can reduce the heat to the medium level because alcohol has a lower boiling point than water. It's uh, around 78 Celsius and water is 100. Uh, so we can reduce the heat to make sure higher or more amount of acetone coming out than water. So keep our the liquor or the brandy has a higher um, alcohol level. So this is the first about five minutes. You can see the liquor is pretty clear. 
but it does have a little bit of uh, green yellowish color. So now the color becomes a much lighter and uh, close to a uh, clear transparent. Now look at the first five minutes. See the difference, uh, big difference. I smell it. This one definitely first is super strong alcohol and also has a little bit acidic uh, aroma. So now just keep continue the distillation after I collecting the 500 milliliter. Uh, that means that will be around 40% uh, or 80 proof. Then I can stop it. There are 400 milliliter of uh, the clear uh, brandy. Um, gotta measure its uh, alcohol level. It's a 50%. Uh, pretty good to make uh, the fruit the brandy because there, I'm using the fresh fruit. It has a water in it. Uh, it will dilute the alcohol. So I add some uh, full blueberry for decoration and just let it sit for six weeks then you're ready to drink the fruity brandy. It's like a uh, season in the oak um, barrel but this is like a season in a, a fruit cup. If you are interested in the distiller, it's a lead time distiller, uh, go to uh, leadtimesteel.com and you'll find a uh, different size of a distiller. It's a fit for you to make essential oil and a hydrosol. And I'll see you next time.